state of Texas, with over 130,000 acres of ranch land, infers a certain way of life, rugged, independent, uniquely Western. But it also leads the nation in creating the first open government in the cloud for its growing population of nearly 30 million citizens. The mission of DIR is to be the leader in technology and to work closely with all of our state agency customers. And our job, our mission, is to do everything we can through technology leadership to enable our agencies, our customers, to fulfill their missions. With the spirit of an innovative startup, the state of Texas aims to be the first state to deliver its portfolio of constituent services from a secure private cloud. The journey to the cloud started with uh, deployment of, of online payment infrastructure, and it really allowed citizen services to be processed in an online environment. Cloud technology is disruptive and it's important that uh, you know, we take advantage of those services because they're agile, on-demand, you know, as business requirements change constantly, cloud services are able to meet those needs. I was realizing how much money we were putting into servers and into hardware and into software and to the men and women who provide those services. I realized right away that the pure cost of doing business for the state could be significantly less with what the new technology cloud was offering us. And so there's so much opportunity in using the cloud. We were taking a risk, but it was an opportunity to start figuring out the next steps. Support from the Texas legislature was a key element in moving government services to the cloud. The cloud first bill requires state agencies to consider the cloud when deploying new applications. The cloud first bill came into being because we realized there were some efficiencies that we could do and I want to take advantage of the opportunities of technology. To move state services into the cloud, the DIR developed the Data Center Services Program, which consolidated 28 state databases. So the Data Center Services Program is a private community cloud for IT infrastructure services that we provide to state agencies. It's a fully managed service program, and it allows us to deploy large-scale frames and engineered platforms that an agency might otherwise not be able to afford. The more agencies collaborate and take advantage of the technologies that we're able to establish in our state data center, the lower the prices will be and the collaboration will be outstanding. I work closely with my peers in other states that are actually looking at our data center model as state-of-the-art. Our agencies are seeing 20 to 35 percent reduction in their IT infrastructure costs by moving into the data centers. We see that prevailing and a lot of reasons why the CIOs do want to move into their consolidated data centers. Agencies that have moved to the cloud have really transformed the delivery of services in Texas. For example, if I'm a retired teacher that likes to hunt and fish, and I'm, in my retirement years, I decide I want to do part-time real estate. I would have to actually engage with nine or 10 different agencies. That means I have to drive to nine or 10 different locations. I have to understand which agency offers which license I need. And so the, the idea of moving all these services online fundamentally changes the way that citizens interact with the state of Texas and does so in a way that's, that's meaningful for them. The ability to consume services using the cloud allows citizens of Texas to experience a personalized and digital government. My government, my way. My government, my way really symbolizes the fact that the next step in, in that evolution is no longer e-commerce. A citizen of Texas should be able to go to an online portal and create a, a context of their personal circumstances that allows them to bring in the services that they need to effectively interact with government and in such a way that, that focuses on the quality of those services but delivers those services from the context of the citizen, not from the context of the agency. People had uh, preconceived notions that cloud was not scalable, it was not effective, it was not reliable, it was not secure, and it is all of those things today. Technology is really relevant in Central Texas and all of Texas. We have technology corridors that creates a need and an expectation on our citizens' parts about how technology is evolving their lives and changing their lives on a daily basis. Nowhere is that more on display than at South by Southwest Interactive. I think that the event has helped position Texas as a 
leader in terms of technology and government. Texas as a state has leveraged the presence of events like South by Southwest to continue that growth and that leadership position. So innovation is really critical for us to ensure that we deliver those services and, and frankly exceed our, the expectations of our citizens. And we do that by enabling the missions of our customers.